We're live, we're live. Let's get this rolling. So welcome to 2022. And here we are again, going back to the lives at least once a week. I've been trying to keep myself on a schedule, but it's been very hard, impossible, because I have guests over and visitors from Brazil. My my niece is staying with me too. So it's kind of hard to keep the schedule that I used to. I haven't been able to, sorry, ignore my message. So I haven't been announcing lives, but I know the people that actually do watch my lives and get back to me and send me messages are not people that actually watch lives. So it doesn't matter what time I start my lives or Anyway, so like today's live, we're going to talk about how can we think outside the box when we're creating a party? How can we create a party that, in my point of view, has to be, be way more valuable than just having a party for a party? I've been doing this for like almost two years now. Let's say a year and a half. I've been going live and I've been trying to teach you guys about the party world. But every time that I teach something, something new comes up with something that I think is way more important for you guys to learn. Because there's a difference with things that I believe you should know about it. And there are things that I believe uh, we're missing out on it. And those are things that I've been learning throughout this years that I haven't been really talking about which is how can we create a party with value? I've been trying to find my words and trying to explain this uh, because I think it's very important because um, not many people talk about this. When we talk about the party world and we teach about the party, we teach things that are basic. For example, do we need a background? How many flowers? Uh, should I have natural flowers in my wedding? Or um, things that I believe are more like uh, things that you can find it on books on the internet that you can Google. But not many people actually talk about things that you should put in a party that has way more value than just things that are just objects. Like, for example, how can we find a theme that sends a message? How can we find colors? How can we even find locations? And here we are doing a live and yes, my daughter just walked in. That's the things about doing lives. Hi, you wanna say hello? I guess not, but you're here. Anyway, so just ignore it. I'll probably, I'm, I'm gonna edit the videos anyway. So. So that's my point. Like, how can we create things that has more value than just picking a theme for a theme? Just picking things that um, are the normal things to do out there, things that I've been teaching it for a while. But how can we put value into choosing those things? So I've been trying to think, how can I help you guys figure this out and find ways? And I came up with like a strategy, which I think, I mean, I don't think I'm going to call it that how, when, why, and what. And I'm going to explain it. Anytime that you're going to have a party or you're getting married, for example, and you go through the, um, to the list of things that you must do, I want you to always think about that. What, when, where, and why. For example, why are you choosing the location? Does this place has any importance to you or has a message that you're trying to send out not a message I can't really think about the word but like for example has something bigger why are you choosing the location for example a lot of times bride and grooms tend to want to get married in the town that they met or the first restaurant they they went on a date things like this that gives a little bit more than just the location it there's a reason behind why the location maybe they want to get married in like like in the, at the beach because that's how they met when they both were in a vacation in Hawaii. You know, things that has way more significance, like a message or soul than just choosing a location for location. And the same way that you can choose locations, thinking about when, why, why, I want you to think about everything else that you have related to um, choosing parties. Like, for example, the color. Think Choosing this color, 
black. Why are you choosing this color? Does that color, it's important to you? Why? Is that maybe your daughter's favorite color? Is that why you're doing her birthday on the color? Or maybe you want to get married and you want your wedding to be like purple and blue, like I had it before, bright. Like, but there's a reason why she likes those colors. There's a story behind everything. It's not just choosing for the choosing. So I want to make sure you guys understand that when you start to plan a party, to learn how to do that, ask yourself why. Ask yourself what. What difference is going to make if I get married here or get married there? What difference is going to make if I'm going to get married during the day or at night? Why are you choosing that location? Why are you choosing that specific time? Why are you choosing those colors? Why are you choosing those?